Hey, it's Nathan with CurryDesignMarketing.com. In this video, we're gonna talk about info labels that are available in the Facebook or Meta Ads Manager. And it's when you're creating an ad, you may see an option to go ahead and add info labels. So in this video, we're gonna talk about what they are and how to use them. So if you've seen this option before and you've wondered what the heck it is, well, this video will explain it. So a few things first, this option is only available in sales and traffic campaign objectives. So if you're using a different campaign objective, you won't be able to see this info label option. Scrolling up as well, you need to make sure that you are using a manual upload for your creative source and also your format needs to be a single image or video. And assuming you've satisfied those criteria, you should see the option to go ahead and add an info label. There's also this learn more button right here. And I'll be honest, it's not very descriptive, but you can see right here that it does mention traffic or conversion objectives. And the conversion objective is now the sales objective. So this support article is kind of out of date as well. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into what it is. So let's go ahead and click on edit info labels and then we can see like what an info label is. Now it does let us go ahead and create custom info labels as well. So we have a few options if we click this drop down. So if we're offering any of these with a particular product or service that we are selling with the given ad, we could go ahead and select it. So free shipping, payment options, and return policy. So if any of these are applicable, you can go ahead and select it right here. And then you can fill in the applicable information. So we have free shipping applies only to orders over a threshold. So maybe $100. And then shipping time frame for free shipping is one day or whatever your free shipping policy is it's or whatever your free shipping policy is these are just the options right here but then you can see an example of what this info label may look like on your ad so it would have like a free shipping option underneath your ad and there's a description down here so info labels will show up on the most relevant placement will show one to three info labels per ad depending on performance Final rendering and interaction may vary. So basically what it's saying is it may add one to three different info labels to your ad and it might change it up to see which one works the best. And so hopefully Facebook's algorithm optimizes your ads to get you the best results. But there's the free shipping one. We could also add another one here. So if you had a return policy, you could add that and we'll say yes, returns are free. And then we can add another label here for payment options. And we can go ahead and select the payment methods that we accept. So let's say that we do Apple Pay, Amazon Pay and PayPal. And that's cool. So we've created three info labels. Let's go ahead and click on next. Now there's other info labels that you can also apply. And these are pulled directly from the information that is within Facebook and Instagram. So for example, your business information like date you joined Instagram, store hours of operation. So this will come straight from your Facebook page. So you wanna make sure that your Facebook page is accurate. Same concept with the store price range and also the store location. So these are all based off your Facebook page. So you wanna make sure that they're accurate. And then we also have social cues right here. So things like Instagram followers, page check-ins, page follows, page likes, and so on. Page messenger response time, page rating, and recent page check-ins. And so you have all these options that you can enable or disable depending on what you have available. Like if you're not active on messenger, you might wanna turn that one off because you don't want it to show like your messenger response time is 72 days or something crazy. And then coming over here to the right hand side, we have our sampler preview. So this is what page likes would look like. So 26 people like this page and we can hit the drop down here. So date joint Instagram. So it would look like this joint Instagram, August, 2016 or page follows. So 26 people follow this page. So similar to page likes or store price range. We can see that it's a $3 sign location, meaning that it's high quality or expensive. We have page ratings. So you can see what that looks like four and a half stars with 122 reviews. So again, if you turn on these info labels, Facebook will mix and match the ones you've enabled and it'll show one to three of them on your ads, which hopefully gives you more social proof and credibility and or useful information about your business. For example, the location of your business could be very useful if you're a physical location. So let's check that out real quick. So located in Beijing, China. And when you're happy, you can go ahead and click on done here. And so I have 10 info labels selected and that one more available is a messenger one. And if you change your mind, you could go ahead and edit the info labels and you could go ahead and turn them all off if you want to. Like if you don't wanna have any info labels, you can do that and click on done. And now we don't have any info labels that'll show up on our ads. So that's pretty much it for info labels. Again, you use them to highlight attractive information about your business, such as number of page likes or free shipping. And hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate it. So likes, comments, subscribes, and or check out crazyadmarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.